countdown is on to the Property Investor Show at Excel, and I just thought I would share with you my five top tips for getting the most out of the show. And of course, it's free to attend, and whether you're a novice investor, landlord just starting out, or a really experienced investor, there is something there for you, most definitely. So it's well worth taking a day away from your inbox to go and meet fellow landlords and investors. And here are my top five tips to help you get the most out of the event. And number one, set your intention. Why are you going to the show? Is there someone specific you want to meet? Is there something specific that you'd like to learn? Is there an issue that you would like help with? If you set your intention prior to attending the show, it's far more likely that you'll achieve something out of it because when you arrive at the show, it's very big, it's buzzing, it can be quite overwhelming. So be clear about what you hope to get out of attending the show. My second tip is to actually plan your seminars in advance and book them in advance. They do get booked up very, very quickly. And if you leave it to the day, you might be disappointed. So get your bookings in and then you know where you've got to be at what time and you can structure the rest of your day around that. My third tip is to take advantage of the fantastic networking on offer at the show. It's not just about ex exhibitions and seminars. There's a real buzz of networking going on, particularly in the cafe area. And um, you can meet all sorts of different people with different experiences. You can meet stakeholders in the industry. Uh, you can meet f you know, really well-known people like Paul Champlina of Landlord Action. You can meet the MD of Shawbrook Bank. Why would you take advantage to meet and connect with these people and it's really really important that um, you know you, you you take advantage of all the networking on offer and get lots of different inputs because that helps you create your own view once you've assimilated all of those inputs at number four my tip is book appointments with specific exhibitors that you would like some time with. The show can be very busy, the, the, the uh, stands can be very crowded. If you actually book in advance, connect with the exhibitor in advance and say, I'm coming specifically to talk to you, can we get an appointment in the diary? That will make sure that you get time with the exhibitor of your choice. And again, that will help you get something very, very real and positive and tangible out of the show. And my fifth tip, very simple, go with an open mind because of course you can never learn less. Be open to all inputs, talk to people, uh, talk to people that don't like uh, different strategies um, to get their view just as much as you talk to people that do like the strategies that you're interested in and then you'll get a much more balanced view. Do intense due diligence on anybody you're thinking of getting in a commercial transaction with as always and do drop along uh, your business cards, hand them out to people you meet along the way and following the show follow those uh, connections up so that you can start to forge relationships from the show. So those are my top five tips for attending the Property Investor Show and getting the most out of the event. And I do hope you'll take the opportunity to attend this fantastic free event, leverage everybody, uh, all the information, all the knowledge that's there and have a really positive day at the show. And uh, hopefully see you there. <laughs>